Hey everyone, today is November the 29th, a few days after Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I ate way too much. I'm sure I gained a crap load of weight, <laughs> but I've been back on my diet since Monday, so hopefully uh, it'll all come out in the wash. So uh, I thought I'd make a video today to catch you up on what I've been up to, and uh, if I don't go too long on my regular update, I'll go ahead and do my whip, whip parade in this video. So, first of all, I'd like to say uh, I want to thank everyone that subscribed to me and everyone that sent me nice messages. It's really, I mean, I'm really actually overwhelmed. I didn't think that I'd get anybody really watching me. So, it's just, it, it's really humbling to know that people actually want to see me and see what I'm up to and what I'm stitching and hear my ramblings because I so far, I haven't taken notes, and I know I probably need to take notes, but I just, you know, I think, well, I'm going to take notes to, you know, for my next video, but then when I sit down with the pad, I just can't think of what to write, so I thought, well, I'll just get on here and wing it, and hopefully that'll work out okay. All right, the first thing I want to talk to uh, to you about is, you know, uh, everyone talks to likes to talk about what they're, like, all into or what they're really enjoying right now, so... Uh, I just wanted to talk about tea. I have never been a hot drink. I never drink anything hot. I cannot stand coffee at all. I, w I wish I did because there's so many that looks really good, but you know the ones that are really good are really high in calories, so I can't have those now anyway. But uh, last year, me and my best friend, that's been, we've been friends for about 40 years now, we decided to go down to the beach and uh, to Myrtle Beach and. She's all this girly, girly stuff. So she decided she wanted to do a traditional tea. Like, you go, like, you have the, you know, the scones and the little sandwiches and all that. So she arranged for us to go to this tea house. And we went to this little tea house at uh, in Calabash, close to Myrtle Beach. And uh, so we had the little tea, and it was, it was so nice. And I really enjoyed the tea I got. So ever since then, I've been kind of, like, buying all these different teas and trying the different ones. And uh, I've got to where I really enjoy hot tea. Now, I do drink iced tea a lot. But uh, I'm not, I've just gotten into hot tea in the last few months. And especially now that it's gotten cold. So, I thought I'd tell, uh, share with you a few of my favorites that I've found. Uh, my number one very favorite tea right now is it's called Capri. And it's from Harney and & Sons. And uh, it says it has um, dried figs with the tartness of lemons, but I don't know what it is, but I just love it. It's smooth. It's not like spicy tea. I do like chai tea. That's my second favorite kind of teas, but this has, you know, none of the spiciness. It can kind of give you indigestion if you drink too much of it. And then my next tea is the hot cinnamon spice. Now, this is what I had at the beach. Also, you know, by Harney and Sons, of course. Now, these are loose teas, and I put them in like one of those little disposable tea bags and put it in my little pot to steep. That's how I do it. And then I've tried this one here, Spice Dragon Red Chai. I love this one. It's really good. And then I have the Holiday Spice uh, Chai. And then there is Vanilla Chai. This is decaffeinated, which I really like caffeine, but you know how it goes. And I find that with hot tea, I like for it to be hot or warm. You know, I, it, once it gets cold, I just have no interest in drinking it anymore. So, I decided to buy me one of these. Now, this one will keep it hot as long as I need it to. And I can take it in the car with me and just have my tea, you know, while I'm driving around and doing my errands and stuff. And it works really good. Now, I'm sure the other brands would work just as well as this one. But this is the one I had I found. And so, that's what I got. So, I really like that. So, that's my tea. But right now, I'm drinking... Iced tea, which I'll put uh, Splenda in my, my tea to uh, sweeten it, so that works out good for me. So, this week, I have a finish. Uh, I've been doing the Weaver's Tapestry Band Sampler Sale. It started last November, and the last part came out Tuesday, and I finished it. I, that's all I've really worked on for the most part for the whole week, or actually about two weeks, because I was behind, and I was determined I was going to finish this one this year. So... Here it is in its entirety. It's a it's a really long one. I did this on uh, this is 18 count Ada, and this is one one fifteen of DMC. And 
I, the only thing I changed was I charted my initials and the date in the bottom section there. So now I just got to figure out how to get this framed. Now I've never had anything framed at Michael's or anything, so I thought about uh, taking it into Michael's and uh, seeing about what it would cost to have this thing framed because it's long, and so I know I'm going to have to have it custom framed. But I don't know whether I should wash it or not because it's the, the DMC-115, but I, if that would run, oh my God, that would be awful after working on it for so long. But, so I might just iron it and take it down there and see what they say. I do have a 70% off coupon, but if I use it, I think tomorrow is, or Saturday is the last day it's good for on framing, custom framing. So I might try to get down there tomorrow afternoon and do it. So after I finished that one, I decided I was going to work on one of my old whips that I hadn't worked on in, in years. This is from the German or Dutch. Is he Dutch? I think he's Dutch. Uh, he he's not only, he's not uh, with us anymore, uh, and I always call it his name Jan Houtman, which it's probably Jan something, if you do it, you know, pronounce it correctly. But this is called patchwork, and I started this. Oh, I don't know, it might have been ten years ago or more. And it's on a real lacy type linen. I'm doing it one over two, and I'm using uh, Vicky Clayton's hand dyed. I got a conversion. She did a conversion for this, and I bought that back years ago. Now, my fabric is more of an antique white. It's not as yellow looking as it looks there. And what I, I had it all done, I started last night. I, I started on this one last night for the first time, like I said, about 10, you know, several years. And I got this part right here done, down to there, and then over here. That's what I did last night. And I believe this is a 35 count linen. I was trying to count it up and figure out what it is, but I think it's what it is. But it's, it's a real kind of a loose, fine linen. I'm not really sure that I like this linen, but I hate to start over. So there's that one. So that's really all I have worked on in the last since I've you know last made a video. That's the only thing I've actually worked on. I do have some uh, some haul, and I thought I would go ahead and uh, show you that. And uh, the first thing I want to show you is. I finally got me a dragon from the Clay by Kim. I, I went on her website last Thursday, which it's about time to do it again, but I'm not going to try and get one this week. <laughs> and I was able to get, well, it wasn't last Thursday. It was the Thursday before Thanksgiving. And I got the little um, peppermint dragon. That is so cute. I love those things. They're, and they're really, they're, they're like, I think it's like $23 for this one, but when you consider these are all handmade, handcrafted, it's really, it's really worth it. Well, you know, well, she had more than one, but you know, they're just, you just can't buy these just anywhere. So there's that. Then I got my Color and Cotton Thread of the Month. I know you've seen these from other people, so I thought I'd just, you know, not take it out of the bag. And I got my Nest Egg from Three out threads, Trisha. I get the ten, uh, ten yard skeins of um, of dental arts, and uh, you know that's really good because a lot of patterns call for a lot more than just one skein. Like you know, they'll, you don't have to get two skeins or three skeins of them, and it's just they can add up really fast. The price of that stuff. And then I order from Hand Dyed Happiness. I'm in her. Uh, fabric of the month club I found her on Etsy and she has some really beautiful fabrics but I ordered this one it's called butter but it's really more orange than yellow but this is a 40 count this is a a 12 a 13 by 13 by 17 piece but it's called it's called butter but it's really that's about what color it looks it's orange it's more orange than yellow but it's really pretty this would be good for like a Halloween or summary you know summary thing design so i haven't decided why i put on that yet but i'm sure i'll find something then i ordered this now i had tubes of this and i just finished this up this is the only thing i like to use while i'm stitching because it doesn't leave your hands greasy at all so i can you know because my hands get so dry in the winter time which i'm sure most of you all do too i also got my bag of the month from uh so much to love this is the one for I guess November, October, November. It's really pretty. 
I think it's in November because October I got a Halloween bag. And this is the bag of goodies. I haven't even opened this yet, so I don't even know what she sent this time. This year she's doing uh, the charm bracelet. And uh, this is the charm it is this month. It's like a little, some kind of little multicolored leaf. Oh, and stash tea. <laughs> White chocolate mocha. That's pretty cool. I love tea. And she sent this Stone Street Stone Street Stitchworks pattern called Thankful. And so that was pretty cool. I didn't sign up for the one for next year. Uh, I've got I've been on I've been in her club for eight I've got eight months. I signed up for eight months, so I'll get one more bag, which will be the December bag. But I didn't sign up for the next year's bag. I just thought I better cool it on fine bags and stuff. But you know how that is. And then I bought, this is from Jen's Stitching Niche. Stitch Niche. This stuff might be a little mixed up. But. Because I got some things from, uh. Oh, here. Oh, here's the one from Jen's. This is Kathy Eric. <laughs> I swear, I'm, I'm unorganized. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is, uh. Jen Stitch Niche, and this is um, Jenny Bean's Christmas Sampler by Shakespeare's Peddler. This is the Ann Hobbs 1834 Shakespeare's Peddler. Oh, and here's the Ragamuffin number one, Ann Harrison. I've always liked this one, and I just thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and get it. I'm trying to cut back on my buying for next year, so, you know, how that goes. And I got this one, it's called Thankful Pumpkin. It's from Annie B's Folk Art, and this is also from Jen Stitch Niche. And this was a freebie. This is uh, from Raise the Roof, Snip for Queen. That's cute. Then I got an order from, uh, one, two, three. I ordered Sample Hill by uh, Brenda Gervais. I got the next two installments of the Songbirds for the Garden. Number four. Number five. These are so pretty. I can't wait to get started on these. Got to decide how I'm going to do them, you know, though. I also ordered this Little House Needleworks. It's called Moonlight, and it's really pretty. It's a, you know, monochrome design that calls for a really expensive thread. Oh no, this is classic color works. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. So, that's really pretty. I love monochromatic designs. And I got Little House Needleworks. This is called Little House Neighborhood. I saw this on somebody's video and I really liked it. And I got this one too because you know I wanted something for Thanksgiving and then I didn't get a sign for Thanksgiving, so now I really don't want to stitch it. <laughs> I'm silly that way. And then I decided I was going to do the uh, anniversaries of the heart designs, and I've got some of them, uh, but not me. I got number four, which is the pink house, which is in my in my room. I got that a long you know year last year sometime. But here is number eight. And this is uh, number nine, Moonlight Visitor. I think I'm going to do them on one piece of fabric. Pumpkin Farm. Number 10. Evergreen Lane. This is number 11. And I Wish For You. And this is number three. So I still have a few more to get. So I'll be working on that as time goes by. Oh. And also ordered from, uh, oh, this also I got from Jen Stitch Niche, too. This is a uh, primitive, it's called, it's a uh, 46 count properly primitive. It's really pretty. It's... So, that's really nice. I just got to figure out what to put on that. 
But as many designs as I have to stitch, I'm sure I have something I could put on that. <laughs> and and uh, Kathy Barrick was having a, a sale. Well, she has a lot of her designs that she's retiring, so I went ahead and got a few of those, and I think I got a couple that weren't retired. And this is one I've been thinking about getting for a long time. I just had never done it. It's good intentions. This is not one she was retiring, but I decided I wanted to get that. And my day complete. This is another one I've been looking for. Or not looking for, but wanting to get. I love that huge bird. And then, of course, it's Christmas time, so I saw someone have this on their, uh, in their floss, too, and I like that. Heaven and Nature scene. I love those little birds on the back of that deer. <laughs> and this one is one of the, once she returned, this little gift. And, uh, Winter Swan. I've always liked that. I love that. Well, I just love everything about that one. So I got those. That's all my Kathy Barrick. And then I got the new uh, Bewitching Hour from the Victorian Motto, Victorian Motto sampler threads. I got this one. It's 12 different grays. I missed the first one she did. So, and the second one I got, but then here's the third. I think this is the third. No, this is the second one. The new one's called uh, Bewitching Spells or something. I think I've got it on the way. But I missed the first one. But I'm always using, you know, whenever you do a lot of Halloween stitching or prayer, you use a lot of grays. And this is... My fabric of the month from Eric Shipley, Ship Manor Designs. That's a lot of this is this is a lot of stuff. And this is 16 count. I must I'm gonna change my count to either 30, 32 or 40. And this is uh, let's see if it's got a name. It's called uh, November Fabric of the Month. nice and I sat in the living room here and cross stitch you know during the week or even actually you know on the weekends and stuff and I, I like saving my orts because I always make a little ornament for my tree well I'm always laying them here and there and they're always getting off in the floor and stuff so I thought I'd buy me a little ork catcher so that's what I did I ordered this I can just set this up next on my chair and then just stick them in there and then Uh, hmm, I can't even think of where I got this, and there's nothing on the thing. Sorry about that. <laughs> but that's on the haul. So, now, since it's only 18 minutes in, I thought I'd get to my whips. Now, this is two years worth of mania, and uh, several that I've had for a, a long time. Now, this one is the one I showed you uh, in my first video. This is... Uh, This is a, a a mystery sampler by uh, Martina Weinberg. I still have not been able to get a hold of her to get those threads, but uh, I don't know. But anyway, this is this one. I, and I really do want to work on this one this year and try to get this one. I'd love to get this one finished in 2019. It's, it's one of my favorites. And I'm using uh, DMC Black and uh, 115 DMC, which <laughs> that is one of my, that is about my favorite variegated red. Okay, I'm going to show you all my older ones first, you know, the ones I've had for a long time. Like for years. Most of these I haven't worked on at all since I came back to stitching. But, you know, it just, I don't know where the picture is for this one, but... I'm sure you all know what it looks like. This is the Rose of Sharon by Mirabilia. I love this one, but I tell you what, I got, and I'm not sure of the fabric, it's some kind of linen. Uh, at the time that I bought this, um, I had a uh, cross stitch store. So I went up there, I bought the pattern, and I said, just give me the fabric it calls for. And so I think this is a 28 count something. But I got so bogged down in this thing right here with all the colors that are so close, it's kind of confetti ish. If I ever get this part done, 
then I, the doing the lady shouldn't be that much of a problem. And I really love, and you know, a lot of people change her dress because they, they don't really like the yellow, but that's that's the thing that really attracted me to her is that yellow dress. Okay, here's another one, another mystery sampler by Martina Weinberg. This is um, a Quaker mystery. And I'm a third of the way down with this one. Hers are hers have been so big. The ones that she's done in the past. This is back in the you know early two thousands. It's gorgeous. It's got some eyelet stitches with the, in the alphabet. Other than that, it's all cross stitch. And I'm doing this on a. This is some kind of an even weave. It's either twenty or thirty two count even weave, and it's a, like a antique white or maybe a. I'm not sure. Antique white probably, and it's uh, with DMC. DMC thread. Okay, this is one from this old magazine. This is Cross Stitch Plus Magazine. And it's on the front of it so I can show you. This is the one I'm doing right here. This has been a whip for years and years, since the, probably the 90s. It's so long ago that I actually taped up the edges of my fabric and used 14 count Ada. And <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever finish this or not. It's really cute. It make a cute little pillow. But I do not understand why I just just can't get home to finish them. Okay, and here is Marty Bell's Rocky Mountain Christmas. Now you talk about confetti, this has got confetti. And it it's got couching in it. I think it's kinda of what threw me off, but I didn't get that much done. But This is some kind of uh, even weave again. That's what I got done. I need to get back to doing this. But you know how that is. Too many new ones to do. I know I have. I've worked on this one uh, last year for a few, uh, a little bit. Oh, I left one of mine in the darn bedroom in there. It's one of my Christmas ones. Okay, it's this, this one right here. Which they've got as a as a box, the to box top too. This is done, uh, it looks like 14 count, and this is Fiddler's Cloth. And I've got a lot of it done. So, it's not, you know, i got to get this side done. And that's about it. I do have some flowers to put in up here where this thing, like a, like there. So that's about all I got to do with that one. So. All right, now I got my box here of whips. This is all the ones I've gotten in the last few years. Well, the last two years since I started stitching again. So this one is. The, this is uh, long, dog long Dog Samplers Cardinal Points. I started this last year in Mania. And this is, do I'm doing this on 25 count, one over one. And <laughs> this is all I got done. Hmm. Oh, and this is with uh, Gentle Arch Threads. When I bought this, when I saw this, I loved it. And I had to hunt it down, and I found, finally found it on eBay. And I bought the thread pack that goes with it. So, and after I bought the third pack, and I was thinking, well, do do two over one, two over two, and uh, it calls for one over one and eighteen count. So I thought, no, I better not try two over two. I just want to buy more thread. And I already spent quite a bit on that thread. This is my big toe, and it's called uh, Quaker Seasons. And this is not a mania start, but I'm doing this on. 40 count mallow mallow this is that cheap you get the uh, linen you get from one two three stitch and I'm doing this one over one on one over two on 40 count this is the first one I ever did 40 count started which I did this just with my mag eyes so it's I could do it on this because it's light enough but when I went to that dark thread that's murky I couldn't, couldn't see where it 
anything. So, oh, this is taking too much time doing it this way. Okay, here is oh, sorry. <laughs> traditional samplings. And it's this one right here. Right there. This is from uh, cross, the best of cross stitch and for the love of cross stitch. I started this one last year. This is on 28 count. This is one of those true color fabrics. So. I think I'm just going to try to leave them there and then put them back in the bags after I hate doing that because it's going to be a mess. But it's just taking too long doing it the other way. And this is just one I, uh, this is just a freebie design. And I just started doing this. I don't know what the deal is with it. I'm, I don't think I was going to make it into a small pillow. I haven't got but about halfway. And this is another one of those true color fabrics. I think I'm using uh, some kind of Goriana with that. I was wanting to try out Goriana and I never tried it. So I went ahead and thought, well, I'll try that and see how that works. Which is, Goriana is really nice. But it's very expensive. There's one I was wanting to switch to Goriana. Um. I was going to do Christmas garden. I was thinking about doing Gloriana with it, but it would cost me over $100 just to, just to get that up. You know, that's a Christmas garden by um, Blackbird Designs. This is called Americana Sampler by the Sampler Collection. I started this during Mania, and this is as far as I got. This is on a, a uh, this is on some kind of Ada. I'm not sure what count that is. It actually looks like 14 count. And this is a surprise. Oh, this is uh, RTM Snowy Christmas. I saw this. I really loved it. And this is a Quaker. Oh, this, oh, I love Quakers and that right there. Just and I started this last year at Christmas time. And <laughs> this is all I got done. Yeah, made a lot of progress on that one. <laughs> I do plan on working on that this year, though, during Christmas, so that's one of my goals. Now, most of these are Mania starts, so I'm going to have a lot to them, so this is Cross Stitcher in Residence, Lizzie Kate, and this is how much I got done. I'm not sure which way that goes, but I'll be that way. So there's that one. <laughs> oh. Oh no, that's not going to work. It's going to start sliding off. Okay. Here is another Lizzie Kate. This is called Bless Our Home. And... Hmm. I guess I didn't start this one. Oops. Because there's no fabric in there. <laughs> on this one, I got one line done on it. And this is that freebie you get. Uh, it's called uh, Quiet Please Cross Stitcher and We're at Work. And I started this because I just wanted to see how the uh, sulky thread would do with doing this is um, 18 count, I believe. It's either 18 or 22. I think it's 18. And that's one over one. One thread over. And I really like the way that looks, so that's what I'm going to do it in. I'd like to get rid of all these Ziploc bags, but you know how it goes. It's cheap. Compared to lots of other bags. This is called the Plumberry Sampler. Bent Creek. And this is as far as I got. Just the that bird at the top. 
part of that bird. Like I said, another mania start. <laughs> Not much to it. And this one, I think this one's on 18 count or 14 count. And this is um, this is Primitive Betty's Strawberry Sampler. And this is how much I got done. <laughs> But it's really fun. I mean, what I did of it. I mean, it's. It really, I really enjoyed doing that. I don't know that I'm going to do stitch mania. If I do stitch mania, I'll probably just work on whips. Do some kind of whip thing. And this is ink circles. Cirque de Caru, or however, however you pronounce that. And this is calls for a Carrie's thread and Epiphany's name of the thread. And it's a purplish. Oh, it's really pretty. And I got the call for threads. And I started it, and there's my start. It's really, you really can't see the color of that thread that well, but. Nope. Oh, well. Shows you better the thread color. Oh man, I feel so unorganized. This is an admonition sampler. This is an oldie. This is one of those the handwritten sample. You know, was written in by hand before they did the computer generated charts. And it's one of them fold out ones, which I don't really like. But here's what it looks like. Here is my start. It probably goes like this. I need to go ahead and set up that whip wheel thing and do that because I, I never get around to doing these because I just stitch on, you know, whatever I think about and then I forget about all these and I need to, I really need to start, start doing it. This is a freebie. It's called Before We Walk By Faith. I guess it's a freebie. I'm not going to own it. No, here's the... I think I must destroy it that so I could mark it off. Here it is. It's a Lizzie Kate. And here's... This is on a Silk Weaver. It's a 28 count Lugana. It's called Charisma. So, that's just with DMC. goodness 33 minutes already and I'm not halfway done and this is another Lizzie Kate why yes I can drive a stick and, uh, and this is how far I got on that one <laughs> and I'm using the DMC 310 on that and this is a summer khaki by 32 count by uh this is another silk weaver. Or it's a Zweigart. It's Zweigart, but I think it's a silk. Yeah, it was a silk weaver. It was one of the fun packs they did back in the day. I don't know if they still do that or not, but. And here is Blackbird Designs without a mouse. And this is on a kind of stiff Ada, but, you know, I'm trying to get some of my Ada used up. Here is, this is what I'm doing for my middle son. He's my 30, 36 year old. And this is White Willow Stitching. This is Tribal Skull. And he wanted in a green on this. This is, picture this, no, this is Dying for Cross Stitch. This is just a 16 count. It's a grayish. And that's as far as I got with this one. I need to get busy on that one. I did promise him I would do it eventually. <laughs> oh. And here is In Hindi 
1778. This is a um, scarlet letter. It's a small, small little sampler, and I just dropped it. My thread. Excuse my face right in your face. And I'm using Carrie's Creation Cherry. And I got this much done. Not too bad. That one, if, once I get working on that, it shouldn't take long to do that one because it's, you know, it's not a very big sampler at all. I do want to get me some, some finishes. This is Pink Sparrow Sampler by... This Brennan Gervais. What it looks like. A lot of people have done this one. There's a, a sow on this one. And I'm doing this on uh, 40 count something. And there's my start. I think this is a picture of this plus fabric. But it just says 40 count, 13 by 18. I don't. I know I have it written down somewhere, but. Yeah, that is. What's well, on my uh, cross stitch app? My uh, X stitch app. I oh, know I've got it written down there. This is Queenstown Sampler design. This is another, just a, you know, freebie chart. This is some odd, uh, uh, small piece of silk weavers. That's all I got done. Not hardly anything. I can't even hardly call that a start. Most of the time, whenever I do stitch mania, I'd stitch on them at least an hour or two. You know, get get a little bit, little bit of a start, more than just a few stitches in. But for some reason, that one didn't get much love. So, and uh, this one is another. It's called. It's a, a free by my big toe. Is stitching buds are the best. Here's what I got done. If I would go in there and look at all the patterns I have and all the things I have started, I would, I would, I think, why am I buying more stuff? I just don't understand why I keep buying when I have so much to do. And I, and I love all these, too. This is Elizabeth's Needlework Designs. This is called Springtime. And this is on a 28-count Whisper Lagana. I got that much done. Oh, I love, love, love this one. It's Cherry Stitches Sweet Land of Liberty. I had saw someone on uh, their face, face uh, on their floss tube channel with this one. And oh, she even actually gave it away after she got done. Of course, I didn't win it. I have never won anything. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm very unlucky when it comes to that. So I got that. But I found it at, uh, I can't remember, Ye Old Cross Stitchery, I think is what it was. And here's my start. Now that is actually red. It's not that, it's not pink like it's showing. It's a red. But, yeah. I'd like to get this done in time to get it framed up for uh, for the 4th of July. So, but, you know how that's going to probably go? Not very likely. Oh, here's another one that's called, uh, that I dubbed in a 40 count when I started my experimentations. Colonials, Colonial Flowers 1 re Revisited. And this is by Sandra Sullivan. And I'm doing it with the call for threads. I'm not sure. I think they're weeks, I think. And uh, here's how much I got done so far. This one's been really fun. But you know, when you do 40, you got to really be able to concentrate because it's easy to miscount. Now, this is called The Sunflower Seeds My Soul is Fed. And I'm doing this on 28 count, and I did a conversion, my own conversion, 
uh, Vicki Clayton's uh, threads because I have a you know I have a bunch of her threads and I thought well you know I've had these for years I need to start using them up you know so I I did uh, got the DMC and converted it myself so this is what I've got done on this one this is another one I'd really love to get finished sooner rather than later so excuse me for a second I need a drink. Okay, this is another one of my So Much to Love bags. That's a pretty one. All her bags are really nice. I really like them. I, I really want to join the new one, but I just can't. Just can't make myself do it because it's not, you know. This is another one of the, uh, this is my last stitch along. Well, of my old stitch alongs from uh, Martino Weinberg. And this is a Ser Serenity Sampler or no, Tranquility Sampler she did. And I did this over one on one over one on 32 count. And this is that's a, I think when I get to the end of this row it'll be halfway done. But there's that one. I really love her designs. And I have a bunch of them that haven't even started that are not stitch alongs, just some I bought. And uh that I have never started yet, but I want to. Here's Samplers by the Scarlet House. And of course, there's the pattern. And this is on a this might be Country Mocha because it's uh, like painted. Well, like I said, I have this in my cross stitch app, but I don't have it here. And it's on a, uh, I'm not sure, that might be a 36 count. Yeah, 36 count. That's what it is. And I don't know what that thing is. I think it might be Vintage Country Mocha that, uh, from 1, 2, 3 stitch. This is called, this is Flowers and Lace Sampler. And here's what it looks like in the, this is an old cross stitch of country craft magazine from back in the 80s or 90s. I think, no, no, this is another one of those cross stitch plus magazines from the early 90s. There's another one here I kind of like too. I can't, uh, I really liked this magazine back in the day. This is, this is one that's cute, but I haven't got it started. It's colorful. Anyway, this is as far as I got on that one. I'm doing it with a little darker pink that it's called for, than it's called for. Because it's, it's more like uh, where it's supposed to fade into the fabric, kind of, and that's the look they were going for, so. Oh, and here is Verbena Cross Stitch. This is, she's, she has an Etsy store. And I just really love her designs. This is called Salem. And it's... It's got touches of orange in there, like in the pumpkin and different... I don't know, it's kind of hard to see there, but... And this is a... 28 count natural. That's black. It kind of looks blue almost, but it's black. And I don't think that would, that's another one I don't think would take very long to stitch. Oh, and here's one that I love. I bought this a couple, of, right when I first started stitching again. And uh, I just started this year uh, during Stitch Mania. And it's One Nation by Bygone Stitches. And I'm doing it with the Call For fabric, which is uh, Ale. Picture this plus Ale 28 count. And, uh, I'm doing it with, I think I'm doing it with the DMC, actually. If I can find the threads here and look at them. That's not it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I'm doing it with DMC and, uh, oh my goodness, I hope he's going there with that. <laughs> I don't think it does. That's probably the ones I'm using. But anyway... I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun once I get into it. This is 
as far as I got. <sighs> I definitely need to get going on this one. That's a huge piece of fabric. This design is going to be big when I get done. I can't wait though. Oh my goodness. Okay, and this one's Bethlehem by uh, Imaginating. And I decided to just do this on a, a this on a 18 piece of uh, 18 count fat, uh, Ada. And uh, this is where I got. I started this during Mania. The only thing I hate about this stuff is it's so. I'm afraid that I'm not gonna be able to get these wrinkles. I mean the creases out. So that's one thing that worries me about that kind of fabric. Well, my dog sitting over there. I was starting to put, put it up on top of my dog. <laughs> this is Hands Across the Sea Samplers, Louise. I think it's Louisa Callamore. This is a Bristol sampler. Bristol Orphanage sampler. And here is where I've got. And this is a, uh, the sticker, I mean the tag's right here so I can tell you what the fabric is. This is 32 count lamb's wool jubbling. And I'm doing this with Carrie's Creation. Um, it's called Old Salem Red. I really like Carrie's Creation threads. And they're very inexpensive. The, the, her silks are $2 a skein. And I think the skeins are 8 yards. And $2 a skein for silk. And her, and her regular cottons are $1 a skein. <laughs> And uh, I've, I've used hers off and on ever, for years, and she still has a website up, and you can go in there and order. I, as a matter of fact, I just placed an order a couple nights ago. I'm trying to get a whole set of her silks. And this is Sampler Quaker C1830. This is by Lady and Thread. And I'm doing this on a, looks like a 32 count, it might be a 28 count. It's actually whiter looking than it's showing, but because I think this is an off white, antique white, probably. You know, back when I first started stitching, about everything was on white, or, you know, they didn't have all these hand dyed fabrics. And, you know, now it's like everything needs to be hand dyed. But I still like things that are on, you know, especially off white. I'm not as crazy about stark white, but I still, I still use it. Shoot, why not? It's easy to see to stitch on. <laughs> this is another one by, uh, cross stitch by Verbena. And this is called Small Christmas Sampler. And this is where I got. And this is just a 18 count Charles Craft, Craft, Charles Craft Ada. And here is Car, uh, not Cardinal Points, but this is a Le Jardin, uh, whatever that is. I can't, you see it right there. And I'm doing this with sulky threads. And uh, I'm doing this on 18 count, I think. It's either 18 or 22, but I think it's 18. And that's as far as I got done. I really like using the sulky stuff. They're, they're really nice. Use one thread and it just... Yeah, it's 22 count. Got right down on that thing there. And here's another cross stitch by Verbena. This is called Be Happy. Be Happy Now. And this is what I got done on that one. So that's really cool. Okay, and here's a big one. This is the Magpie Tree. Now I bought this on uh, Etsy and I bought it as a kit. Well the fabric was, uh, it was a nice piece of uh, even weave. But once I uh, you know, did the math it was, it was only going to leave me about a half an inch on each side of the design. So I went ahead and just uh, put that in my stash or in my, you know, my 
fabric stash and got me a different piece to use. And uh, this is a, I think it's a 28 or a 32 count something. Yeah, here it is. It's 28 count ivory Lagana. And this is <laughs> this is all I got done. <laughs> That's the very top of the tree. But I really love that uh, that design there. And this came from um, Maggie G's Needlework. She has some really pretty ones. And here is called Glorious Wings. This is a Just Nan. I got this as a kit back, oh my gosh, probably 20 years ago. I started it, but then at the time I didn't mark off my pattern. So, uh, it's really hard for me to figure out exactly where I am because it's, I think I could probably do it if I get in there. It's got, uh, here's some metallic and here's the thread. It was already, Just Nan has some nice kits. There's a few beads. And this is as far as I got. Uh, wait a minute, that's probably the bottom. This is probably the top. Um, I really need to get that out and get that finished. I've never done a Just Nan before. That's the first time I've ever even bought one. And here I am. I'm not even doing it. Okay, here is. It's called Galatians. 522 and 23. I was doing this for my my daughter. I don't do I really don't stitch for other people anymore much. But my daughter's really loves scripture things and so I thought I'd and you see how much I got done. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know I say now that I'm not gonna probably do stitch mania but I love I'm not, I used to not love to do new stars, but man I tell you I've got several that I'm ready to start now, and and I'm probably going to. This is another uh, cross stitch by Verbena, as you can see. I love hers. It's called Flower Quaker. I think she gave this one to me as a freebie for some reason. Now she sells it in her shop. And they're not they're not expensive though. And this is done on a uh, it's a it's 16 or 18 count uh, fiddler's cloth. But all hers are really easy. I mean, they're, they, I think they go really quick once you get going on them. I have a bunch more of hers. I have a bunch of like stone streets, uh, modern folk embroidery. Uh, and I buy a bunch of these and I never stitch any of them. It's like, I start them and then I don't go anywhere with them. This is uh, something, it's called something special. Uh, and it's this sampler right here. This is an old Candemar Designs, and this is another one of those hand-drawn, you know, things where they wrote them in by hand. And, uh, I'm not sure, uh, it's, it's 18 count. And there's where I got. And, so. When I first started stitching again, I stuck mostly to Ada. And I still do like Ada, and I still use Ada. But now I'm branching it back out more into uh, the, the higher counts and even, and not just even weave, because I got to where I wouldn't even hardly ever use linen, but now I'm getting more into linen again. Because linen's not that much, di not that difficult, really. It's, it's not. It's just, a, some of it's pretty slubby and it's got those thick, thick threads sometimes, but you know, they're not that bad. This is a Tom Pudding Designs. I downloaded this, so I don't know if I even got it. 2001. It's a little one. I don't even know if Tom Pudding Designs is still out there. I started this the first Stitch Mania in 2016. No, 2017, because I wasn't even I wasn't even stitching in, in May of 2016. I didn't start stitching until about October of 2016 again. So this is 2017 Stitch Mania. And it wouldn't take an hour maybe to finish that up. And this one is, and I love this one. I started it, and then I made a mistake. So I just had a, my fabric was too big, so I just cut the top of it off and started instead of taking, you know. I had made a mistake in his neck, and his neck was fatter than it's supposed to be, and it just didn't look right. And I was trying to improvise, but I'd taken it out, and I said, I'll oh, forget that, Jack. So it's a, 
Beneath the Harvest Moon. And this is a, uh, I think this is the fabric it calls for. See, here's, <laughs> here's the part I cut off. <laughs> Which I could still get maybe some small, something small on that. But this is as far as I got with it. So. And it's going to be really cool when it's done. I'm getting down there. I'm getting close. <laughs> and this came out of a uh, cross stitch and cut cross country stitching. And honestly, I don't even know which one. I don't know if it's a. I think it might. Oh, it's this one. It's that one right there on the cover. And this is on an Ada. I think it's an 18 count. I used to get all those magazines, never stitch nothing out of them. And now here I am trying to stitch something out of one of them. Here's another My Big Toe. And this one is called Blackbird Garden. Blackbird's Garden. And I'm using this with the Call for Threads. I think it's gassed. Yeah. And it's an even weave. It's probably a, I don't know if it's 32 count. It might be a 28. So, not much done, not much to see there. I really like my big toe designs though. They've got some really cute ones. And some really pretty ones. Not just cute, but really, really nice ones. And this is called Hearts and Sampler, and it came from a, uh, ouch. This came from a, uh, magazine. I think it was, uh, Leisure Arts Magazine. It's supposed to be part of a, of a, uh, Afghan. And I'm just going to do the one little section, and this is over one on 28 count. And I can't really tell what it looks like because I don't have the magazine right here, but... It's got, it's, on one side there's a heart, and on the other side there's like a little sample, a little alpha, I mean a little alphabet. And here is Debbie Draper Designs, and this is called Garden Legacy. I bought several of these back in the, when she was still with us. And that's where I got on it. It comes with a thread, and this one is a, I'm not sure what kind, oh it's hand dyed fabric, five, Fibers is called a uh, knuckler or something. Or knuckler. A knuckler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I forgot. I forget about the silent K. <laughs> and this is a kit I got from uh, years ago. A Jamlin kit. It's called Forever Wild. And my, my youngest daughter, which she is 29. She loves horses, so I thought, well, I'm a, you know, I have this in my stash. Why don't I just go ahead and stitch this for her? Well, I always use a hoop or a Q-snap. This fabric is so stiff that I can't even get it in a Q-snap or a hoop. But, so I started on by hand. And this is the fabric that came with it and the thread that came with it. So, I guess it's supposed to be, you know, that color. I mean, it's like just almost a complete, I mean, it matches completely. I mean... I don't know. Matt, as you see, I didn't get very far on that either. I should be ashamed of myself. But somehow, I'm not. <laughs> this is Barrick Samplers, Mary Prentice, 1831. I love this. Kathy Barrick Designs. There's so many that I really love, and I want to get them, get working on them. But you know, if I work on them... Even if I don't get them done, and I must be doing this with BMC because there's no thread in here. It must be in my my thread box. I, I work out of that two-sided box. Oh, wait a minute. It seems to me like this is supposed to have... No, I guess it's DMC. But, uh, it calls for MPIs, but I just cannot pay that price. for. I mean, unless it's something really, really... I don't know what it would take for me to buy those, but I mean, I have bought a few, but I'm still debating on the Gloriana for the for the garden sampler from 
Christmas garden. Because the colors that that it's charted in, it's charted in four colors. But one of you got to have 25 yards, or two of you got you have 25 yards of one and 15 of two different other ones. So that's like it ends up being about 110 dollars or something like that for the th just for the thread. And it's like, oh my gosh, I don't know. It's hard to rationalize that to myself, you know, because my husband probably would not like that. And I looked for this one forever. I finally found it on um, on uh, eBay from a Korean seller. And I was thinking, well, are these going to be copied? But this is the hard stock. And I'm doing uh, Red Sky at Night. This is Weatherwise from Prairie School. I started that one. I saw someone stitching that, and ever since then I started looking for it, and I finally found it. And I look for it and look for it, and now this is how much I've got stitched on it. And this is a 28 count Monaco. Now, has anyone else heard that Monaco, they're going to stop making Monaco? I heard, I've been hearing different things that they're not making it. They're not going to be making it anymore. And I hate that because that's about my favorite even weave. I mean, one of my favorites. I love it. I mean, if I'm going to use 28 count, that's what I like. Here's another Debbie Draper. And this is called, well, darn it. I got the paper in front of it that tells the dimensions and stuff. This is called Tap Tapestry of Love. And this call and it came with another uh, thread by, hmm, oh, there it is. Getting uh, hand dyed fabric, I mean, hand, <sighs> Vicki Clayton's thread. There's that so far. I really love Vicki Clayton's threads. I sure wish that she was still doing them. If I'd have known back when I was buying them, because I was in her thread club for a couple of years, and I would get the, um, I think it was 18 a month, and I got the, um, the premium on those little round things. And I bought, uh, the thread pack for uh, one called the Tsunami Sampler. That was another Martina Weinberg one. I got the one for the patchwork. I got the one for the Quaker Gun Tropic. Which, I don't know where that's at. I haven't seen it yet. I don't know. I've got it. Somewhere. This is September Song. This is another freebie. And there... I'm not sure which way this goes. Probably this way. I'll be able to tell once I get working on it. But Maybe it's down here yet. I'm getting close to the bottom, but I still have a few to go. This one is, and I don't think these people must not be in, in the business anymore. It's called At The Hop. And it's called You Be Checked. And I bought this from a cross-stitch store that local needlework store that we had back in the day, back in the 80s or 90s, probably the 90s. Might have even been early 2000s. But I bought all the thread with it. It calls for sampler threads, and I've had this for years, and I just finally started it. I've had it, well, 96, because that's what the sampler said, and I bought it when it, was, when it just came out. And that's when I got that. And this is on a, a T-dyed linen. It's 35 count, I think. So, that's back when all the hand dyes were like tea dye and stuff like that. Here is, oh, here it is, Quaker Gun Tropic. Now, I bought this, and I got the conversion, Vicki Clayton's conversion, which I bought back a long time ago when I first got this, pat this pattern. And the problem is, the threads look nothing like this. Now, this is the reason why I bought this, because I love the look of that thread there. It's bright, and it calls for pears and poppies by uh, SNC. SNC uh, for some reason that silk and colors. <laughs> and I ordered the fabric from um, Dye for Cross Stitch. I had her uh, do me a uh, custom dye. It's a yellow, white, and yellow. And this is and this is the Vicky Clayton. I'm not sure I like that. And I actually ordered a ski. I mean I. A uh, hank from Silks for You uh, to to do it in, but I just can't make up my mind which one I want to do it in. 
I started a net, and so I might just go ahead and go with it. I don't really know. So much, so many decisions to make. And this is Anatolia. This is uh, ink circles. And I'm doing this in the call for Carrie's. I think it's Carrie's. Yeah, Carrie's creation. And I bought the silks. It, you know, she usually has the silks and the cottons of the same color, but I bought the silks. And it's on a. Uh, I don't see the 32 or 28 count even weave of some kind. This is, this, this is where I got. I just love working with those silks. And if you're interested in Carrie's Threads, you just go to carriesthreads.com and it will bring up her uh, website and you can just order directly from her through PayPal. Or you, you can use a credit card, whichever you prefer. This is another Jan Houtman. I don't know how you pronounce his name. I always just said Jan Houtman, which I know that's not correct. But this is a Life Tree. And uh, I'm not sure what color he did his in. You know, he did all his. I mean, he did. He had a, a, so many samplers. And um, he did all his on Ada with DMC. And uh, I don't see that thing that tells what colors he uses, but I'm using uh, some Mosale. I just got to get back and make sure I have enough of these colors. But I don't think I'm doing just two colors because I got three different colors there. So that's what I got started so far. And this is an Ada. I believe this is an 18 count. And the color of the Mosales that I'm using is uh, this one's called Peach. Hmm. Oh dear, I should have wrote down what I was using because that's the only one I have in there. And I got three different colors. That may not be good. <laughs> oh my. Uh oh. I don't know what to do with that. Oh, here it is. I do not need to get all this mixed up. Okay, this might be the last one. That's what's going in there anyway. I got a Saint Love. Uh, it's that uh, young dog. Uh, <laughs> I'm not good at pronouncing names. It's this one. And I'm also doing this one on 18, or uh, I think it's a, it's one of them real stiff ones. I think it's one of those DMC fabrics. And I'm doing this in DMC, I think. I think that's DMC right here. Yeah. 917 is what I've got there. And that's all I've got. I mean, that, the other one must be black. I swear I need to keep better records on some of these. It's like at one, I don't know what happened there. So. And I didn't count these, but I think it's probably around 50 or 60. And Here's another one here I want to get to show you. It's throwing stuff in the floor. I just threw the pattern in the floor. Yeah, back there. I can't get to it. It's called, uh, it's from Little Dove Designs. It's called Merry Christmas Sampler. And that's as far as I've got. It's, uh, it's getting close on to halfway. But I'm going to work on that one. And I have another one, the Plum Street Design, the 12 Days of Christmas. I started that one, and, I've, and I'm, going to try, I'm going to try to get that one finished this year, too. So, But that's all. Uh, wait a minute. What's this one? Is this one I just put back in there? Yep. So, oh, and uh, then, of course, here is my Quaker Halloween. You saw that one not long ago. And this is as far as I've gotten on this one. Just so you I can refresh your memory. I got quite a bit done on that. Well, there's still a lot more to do, but that's a lot of stitching there. So, and I'm going to start the Lila Studios Quaker Christmas. Um, I'd like to start the Christmas Garden from uh, Blackbird Designs. Um, 
I have a few more Christmas ones I want to start. I have a couple of Lizzie Cates. Uh, sampler claws. Uh, there's another one I got that's got a bird on it, uh, like a cardinal. I can't think what the name of that one is. I got the thread and everything for that. I just got to figure out my fabric, which I've got plenty of fabric. I can, I can uh, find something for that. Um, oh, let's see. Is there any other ones? There's another one. It's a Stony Creek, and it's like it takes a variegated um, thread works that I'm going to start. Uh, but it's I haven't started it yet and it's over there somewhere <laughs> So anyway, that's all my whips and uh, If you have any questions about anything you saw let me know I'll try to get you know let you know what What it is if you you know Like I said, I've got all these whips started and I want to start more so and also I've got to restart my Ann Grimshaw I got the fabric and the thread for that. I showed that to you either last video or the one before So I want to restart that one and uh, also, uh, the uh, there's a Jan Houtman, <laughs> the name, stitch along starting in the beginning of the 2019, and it's going to be different motifs from some of his designs. It's going to be like 52 weeks, small sections, 52 weeks. If anyone is interested, just let me know, and I'll try to. Uh, there is a Jan Houtman Sal Facebook group. You might can find it by just Google, you're not Googling, but just go to Facebook and do a search. You should be able to find it. It's J-A-N-H-O-U-T-M-A-N. And you should be able to find it that way. And uh, that starts, I think, January. And it's going to be a free sale. Uh, and, of course, there's a few other sales that's that's going to be starting that I'll probably end up getting in. Like, there'll probably be another Weavers and probably another uh, Linens and Threads, which I will, you know probably get in on but you know I'm not gonna you know keep up with them probably so anyway that's all my stuff and I hope you enjoyed this I enjoyed going through all my whips and but it kind of makes me feel a little like I need to get busy stitching more and more so tonight I think I'm gonna work on this uh, Christmas one and I uh, try to get this one done this year so I hope I can it's really it's really pretty but the thing is, that's only half the battle getting them done. Then you've got to get them framed. But, yeah, that's an expensive one, too. But, all right, well, everyone have a good night. And I will be back again soon, probably uh, next week, when I get more things that I've stitched on or more uh, stuff in the mail, which I'm expecting a few things. I did order, um, join the Fabric Club of um, XGU Designs, but... It's been in transit. My piece of fabric has been in transit for a week or two weeks. Well, two weeks. And it says it left New York a couple of days ago. And I don't know how long it's going to take to get here from there. But, you know, the, with this time of year, mail runs slow anyway. So, But anyway, everyone have a good night. And I will see you soon.